very familiar passage of scripture says, I am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruit. Wow. I love this particular scripture because uh, it's, it has a lot of controversy in it. Uh, and the controversy is this. Not many people understanding what this word takes away mean. Any, have any of you heard or been taught, you don't have to raise your hand, that if you don't bear any fruit, God's going to cut you off. God's going to cut you off if you don't bear any fruit. Anybody heard that before? <laughs> and so you can probably tell I spend a lot of time constantly uh, refuting those arguments and those teachings because it does not produce the confidence and the security that believers must have in order to live this life and fulfill the will of God. I put it to you, God gave it to me in this thought yesterday. Would you send out United States soldiers to go and fight for their country if they had to constantly question their citizenship every day? What soldiers would be out there fighting for this country if they didn't know from one day to the next if President Obama was going to cut their citizenship from one day to the next? Do you think we'd have a very successful army <laughs> or Marines or Air Force? You cannot send people into a war and a fight if they constantly don't know if they're going to be backed up by the country that they're fighting for. And that's what we teach some branches of the church. And many of us have been have been taught under, under some of those uh, types of uh, pastors and groups that constantly our citizenship is on the line. And whatever we don't get right, again, we're cut off. So we've read this scripture and the New King James Version says every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away and every branch that bears fruit, he prunes that it may be more that it may bear more fruit. That word. And that's why I love going back to the Greek language. That word takes away is Aria, uh, which whose root word is Ari is I.E. Roll. And that root word means lifts up. It means lift up. So when you read the scripture, uh, let me just finish this definition. A primary root to lift up by implication, it means to take up or to take away or away. Figuratively, it means to raise, to keep in suspense, just like they do the, the branches on a vine. They suspend it. They hold it up. They tie it to the trellis. And it's suspended and held up. So. Um, Many, many people have uh, have really misinterpreted that particular scripture. In fact, I found I love going and exploring stuff on the Internet. And you can see this little diagram that I found that shows uh, a vine. So he wasn't saying I'm going to cut off. Now, when you see the picture, it makes sense, doesn't it? He's not saying I'm going to cut off these branches. This is not referred to as the, I'm not going to cut. I'm going to lift up. And I showed this picture over here so you can see how they extend and they are tied to a trellis. I'm going to lift them up and tie them to the trellis. So if I've got branches that are unfruitful, he don't cut it off. It's very little chance that an entire long extended branch, the entire branch would be unfruitful. You're going to have grapes along the entire branch. Isn't that amazing when you actually see it? I love this. So he wasn't saying I'm going to cut it off. He said I'm going to lift it up. I'm going to move it. Wow. The root word, uh, Aero, has basically it has it has four basic meanings. Uh, it means to lift up or pick up. Number two has a figurative meaning. It means to lift up like lifting one's eyes or lifting your voice. Number three definition to lift up with the added thought of lifting up in order to carry away. And the fourth definition is the one that people all, that the scholars and most of the people picked up on. That means to remove. And even then when it's saying remove, 
from a vine dresser standpoint, he's not meaning remove the branch. I'm going to remove stuff off of the branch. Anything that's keeping this branch from being fruitful, I'm going to remove it. Woo! Doesn't it free you up today? Lord, you're not looking for every reason in the world to cut me off. <laughs> this is what keeps believers constantly in this state. Am I saved? Am I not? Am I okay? Am I going to heaven? Am I going to hell? And that's because we take these words and they'll add English definition or they'll take one definition of four part meaning words. Actually, this was describing an entire process. Jesus was talking about an entire process. Isn't that great to see that? So uh, I guess let me let me back up before I get to this next part. I must read this. Um, many scholars uh, interpret the word I E ray as lifts up in this verse. They the, they note that in in at least eighty at least eight out of its twenty four uses in John, the same term is used with the sense of lifting. And not in a judgmental way. The same word was used in, in various places in John. And the same term is used. It's always used in the sense of lifting things up. Not judgmental. This was never meant. When Jesus made this statement. This was never meant as a statement. To be uh, judgmental. That I'm pronouncing a final verdict. Upon someone who is not producing. This was meant to be a word of encouragement. If a branch is unfruitful, I'm going to lift it up. God's not going around looking for every single excuse and reason I can to cut people down and cut people off. Wow. <laughs>